beautiful Mandalay Casino and Resort at Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, it's the Geary's Dad and Stephen Show, with your co-host Troy Geary, and yes, even Will Stein is here. And of course, your host, fresh off his one-man, legless tribute to Elvis Presley, the hardest working man in show business this week, Dave Stevens. That's right! Here we are at Stallone's Restaurant here in... Are we in Nevada? I don't even know what town this is. It's Las Vegas. It's still Las Vegas. We're far off the strip, but we are here tonight at Stallone's Restaurant, a cavalcade of stars, and uh, we actually have a musical guest today. Mr. Patrick Mahoney will be giving some of his lovely talent and tunes. Patrick? How's it going, everybody? I'll be, the, I'll, be the, I'll be the lots of this, lots of this. We got underneath, underneath Dave's table. He has, he has one of these. Red Solo Cup. I fill you up. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. I love you, Red Solo Cup. I fill you up. Roxy party, party. All right, and of course, my buddy, my host, Troy Geary. Troy, how you doing tonight? And uh, are you excited to be here, our 100th episode? <laughs> Unbelievable. We have a lot of guests planned tonight, uh, some superstars, but of course, uh, we've got one of our regulars here, and we never have him on the show. Will Stein joining us. Will, how are you doing, buddy? Unbelievable. We have Kenny Maine! Kenny Maine is here! Oh, holy cow! Kenny Maine is here! That's too bad. Ah, oh, I just, I got that. Thank you, Patrick. It's That's uh, such a sad, sad moment that uh, what happened to... Was just sad. What, a, what a great singer he was and what a loss. But uh, it's great. To, I make sure you have your mic on. I don't know if you turn it off. But uh, Kenny Main co-hosting with us again. And you've been on a couple of our episodes as a as a guest. And Yes. You, you handed it off. It was like you were Jack Parr and we became Johnny Carson. Have you? No, not me at a Super Bowl. You seem familiar. No, not near the Super Bowl yet. Dave, I've been promised a ticket from stay from this from this channel, so I'm looking forward to going. Yeah. Dave it's, said, "Come on out and do good things and talk about the foundation." And here I am. And now, of course, you can tell by his southern accent where he came from. But uh, Patrick's a good guy. He's going to be playing tunes all night long. And Troy and I here, Kenny, uh, Kenny, what's new with Kenny? What's Kenny been working on? Well, oh yes. If you, uh, for all of our guests and our, uh, our uh, sponsors, like sponsors, it is. You have to ask it is. Thanks to hey, yeah. 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 No. There you go. Thanks to No, it works. Every, serenity oh, out. Yeah. Well, it might work for a minute. <laughs> Here, now you hold it. Then they get the plug. Ooh. Right you are, you are. <laughs> we're exploiting you. Yeah, we'll yeah, give we'll you a cut, five percent up. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. It's uh, serendipity. What does that have to do with the phone trip? What's good? So we're like selling advertising on the product itself. Are we talking about the product or the advertising? On the product? Well, Kelly Williams is one of our uh, co-workers on Your Home TV, yeah. and so she helped us uh, with some of the sponsorship. And they said, hey, if you want to get drunk on the boat, we're going to give you some uh, iPhone chargers. And so Troy and I are going to go get drunk on a boat in Houston soon, right? Yeah, and uh, I don't know where they go, but <laughs> we're going on a trip. It's a cruise. We're going to cruise in Texas, but uh, we are we are so happy for our sponsors. So what's going on in Kenny's life? I came to Las Vegas to that Partly, it was, it was fun. I went to college here, right, at UNLV way back when. Played football. Yeah. Randall, Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham was a freshman when I was a senior. Sam King was the starter. Can't see it because I'm seated, but I'm wearing my brace, a device, as you like to call it. And you were talking about it on the show a million times. But I ruined my ankle playing football in college. I much later, as I got older, and medical surgeries and arthritis, and you know, it wasn't working very well. So I found this guy at Gig Harbor, Washington, named Brian Blanc, and he makes these amazing devices, and it changes your life like that. So. Day one where I got blind, I ran on the treadmill. On day one where there's no way I could run the day before, right? You stick it on, you get confidence, you have the faith. And I cried for about two hours, called Gretchen, my wife, like, I can't believe what just happened. 
So we both, almost at the same time, said, look, we got to do something good about this. So we started a foundation for veterans, Run Freely. The website's runfreely.org. This week, we have the services of famous quarterback Joe Montana. Who's what, what, what? Right. There are still spots available at think It might be sold out. I have a young woman named Mara Gallagher who's been taking care of me the whole time, running the website and all that. She's keeping track of what's what. Runfreely.org. Runfreely.org. If you like what I'm talking about, we are being streamed. Show them. Can you lift your leg up? Right now, in mainland China, you hear about this. Stand up. Let them see your leg. Sign up and and lift it up. It looks like, can you see? That's it. it. Yeah. So basically, it's called an exosim, and... It goes outside your body. You keep you keep your bad leg, and you stick this device outside, right? Then you put the whole thing in your shoe, and it displaces the pressure on your joint. Uh, like I said, I can't run very fast, but I could run right down the casino hall here if I wanted to, right? All no right. Pain. I played golf the last two days. I walked about nine miles yesterday. I went to the media thing. Oh, and yeah. I dropped off at the wrong location. Then I walked back to the hotel. Like I did a lot of steps. <laughs> anyway. The Joe experience on Thursday, for those who pay the right amount of money, you get to meet him, you get to catch a pass from him and keep the football. And that's a good deal if you're a football fan, I would think, particularly a 49er fan. Well, yeah. We're only selling seven spots because we told him it'd be free. We're going to raise enough money to get one veteran life change. Awesome. Runfreely.org is where you should go if you're watching this. And if you're watching this not live somewhere down the road, Go to runfreely.org and give and help Kenny. So. It's pretty cool because people hear about it. I got a good friend in Vegas, a guy named Ross Asherod, and he said, hey, I got a friend. He's, he's done really well in business. He has this foundation. You know, some people have enough money where they kind of make their own little side pool that they're going to give to various charities. So it's just sitting there, and he dispenses it throughout the year. He said it's end of 23. He needs to make one more good donation. Next thing you know, we get a check for 10 grand. I call Ryan. Hey, guess what? Next vet's up. So one by one by one, we help the next veteran. Who's ever in line based on need and based on um, how long they've been waiting. We try to be fair about you know, who's been waiting the longest. Well, Troy, what's your favorite Kenny Main moment? Do you oh, remember? Oh, man. I mean... I mean, not to mention all the commercials. I mean, those are still some of my favorites. Let me think here. The ESPN one? Oh, yeah. All those ones. I mean, I mean, you guys, whoever was, I mean, you were back in that time. I mean, whoever was the creative writing on that Light was, uh, yeah, the there was some. people in New York. But my favorite, I had a couple, but one was with Stuart Scott, and it was called the Big Buddy Program. And the funny part is we, we would ship those commercials on the work day, right? Like you had to be at four o'clock to go for the 11 o'clock show. And like, hey, it's six o'clock, we need to get down to the cafeteria, we're shooting the hour. And and you'd be doing this silly commercial, then you go back to your real job. But it was so fun, everybody wanted to be in them. They were so silly and ridiculous and popular. Stuart and I went to a little uh, basketball gym in, at Eastern Bristol, it was, Bristol East. And the premise was that we were giving back community by helping these little kids in the Big Buddy program, but as soon as we got on the court, we turned into absolute jerks, and we're like, stealing the ball, stupid, like, check the kid, he's about four feet tall. Uh, little pudgy kid. And you were like... I like the one with the Kepe Matumbo, yeah. where we were lying on our backs and looking up at the sky and talking about cloud shapes. I thought that was fun. I like the one with Bob Lee, where he come out of the limousine with the fur coat and the two girls I'm armed. They, they were all fun. I mean, they, you know, they were all good. Charlie Steiner followed me to freedom. Oh, yeah. yeah bon Jovi, the music yeah. at my desk. And uh, it's oh, just. They all wanted it. They yeah. Wanted every, it was. Stephen King was in one. Yeah, it's, it was such an amazing part. Roger and that's why Roger. I feel bad. And now you can say it now that we're there. I. I'm glad we were there in their heyday because I don't like what I've seen ESPN become. I'm not going to say that because I think there's a lot of good stuff still they are doing. Um, you know, a lot of talented people are still broadcasting all the games. But it's true that the late 90s, you know, a little before that, Dan and Keith and all the people that came before him, Bob Lee and Tom Meese and Chris Berman, obviously. And, but there was a period where it just mattered more because we didn't have – the exchange of information. You didn't know yeah. the one whatever game you cared about. So if you cared about the the Nick Seltzer game, you live in Seattle or somewhere, you have no idea, you can't see it. There's no way to see it. The only way you can see it is to stay up until 11 o'clock or whatever time it came on. 
and wait for the here comes the next Celtics. You know? yeah. So there, there was the importance because of what information the show held that you didn't have. That part has changed. But I still think there's a lot of good things going well, on. Well, there's good things, but they don't allow the anchors to get a rapport. They're always bouncing them around and plugged in everywhere. And I just, I these miss. What, Dave's. Yeah, these are, uh, <laughs> yeah, these are my opinions. But, you know, reflect the opinions. I've, I've gone out of my way to not say anything bad about that. Person. Oh, I'm not asking you I to didn't say. Bad terms anyway. They offered me a contract. Yeah. I didn't like the contract and I left. It was lower than I thought I was worth. And I went out of the world and tried to see what else I could do. But to see the controversy lately, the Emmy thing, the McAfee thing, it's I, just... I wonder if I have to give back one of my trophies, because they had some stupid rule, which I don't understand the rule anyway. If you were a quote-unquote talent on air, you couldn't win a team award. Like, say, a certain show won the team award for whatever that category was. Okay. Unless, what would that be? You were part of the team. Why would they exclude... And the I guess the explanation was you were already eligible to enter your own on-air people award division i don't know it doesn't make sense to me but um i will melt down my trophies and then take the money and, and put it on the hardware and they're working always or go. make a nice new run freely.org leg brace that you donate out of chrome, out of chrome. No, yeah these are uh carbon fiber they make them right there in Deer Harbor, washington i don't know how they make them i don't know anything about it except they work but all I know is that it, it lets you do stuff you can't do otherwise, and that's that's kind of a, a, a breakthrough and a, a blessing for anybody who gets one. And what's next for Kenny Maine? Tonight, uh, going to eat dinner, probably. I mean in life. Wednesday. Well, I'm trying to sell a movie. What is anybody, any uh, giant corporation movie buyer people, if you're listening out there. So I made a movie called Whiffle Ball. It's 30 minutes long. It's, it's done. It's like, it's the story... In 1989, oh, so we're gonna are we walking me out with music? Is that what's happening? Was that story too long for you? Okay. <laughs> um, so in 1989, I threw wiffle balls with Ken Griffey, and in this story, we go back and find out the truth of what happened that day. Did I beat him? Did he beat me? Ken Burns is in it. Oh, Pearl Jam's in it. Head and the Hearts in it, and uh, Sam LaChow, the Seattle rapper, did a song for us. And we got the archival film from when I was first in TV. I was only in the business a couple of years when I made the story. It was terrible. I look back at the raw tape. I'm so bad, like embarrassingly bad. Uh, but together we were able to grab the old footage and, and piece together a little story. So hopefully one day look and see Wiffle Ball. Uh, all right. That sounds good. Wait, I might be selling my car. If anybody's interested, it's 2020, <laughs> low miles. Um, I'm also selling greeting cards to the American. No, I am. That's serious. They haven't come out yet. But I made up. A, are you running me off? This show is no, no. I'm here. Time doesn't matter. I'm telling some stories. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing. hearing it. I'm hearing it. I'm selling greeting cards. Right. I'm loving my wife, Gretchen, and our four daughters are out in the world. Two of college. Yeah, you didn't put it another way. To USC. Next one's going to Barnard next year. And uh, Annie just wrote a story today down in Georgia. She works in the paper. Riley's up in Seattle. Like, it's all good. By the way, my ex-wife says you still owe us a wedding present because you RSVP'd for the wedding and you didn't come. <laughs> Not that I've held the grudge. That's just Tamara. Yeah. I didn't send anything? No. But it's okay. I thought I would have been mode. Been mode. No. Yeah, he uh, would have been mode. Uh, no, no. We got a nice tip from Tom from MySpace, but... <laughs> oh, anyway. I do a lot of radio row, like talking about my foundation. I'm shaking hands with people and telling them about the movie. Saturday, I'm doing an event for autistic kids. UNLV asked me if I would help out. They're involved in it. Um, we're gonna, you know how they do the fan experience? Yeah. But some kids with autism. That's a little overwhelming. There's like sensory overload sort of thing. Yeah. So they're going to hold, we're going to hold kind of a private fan experience and let some of these kids learn how to play football and have fun outdoors. Dang. Hopefully the rain stops by then. We should be at that. That sounds like a great event. That is. All right. So, Kenny, I know you got to pop on here in a second, uh, but uh, 
Do you have a prediction? Are you going to lay some money down here before you leave over at the wonderful sports book? I would. I don't know if I'll do it here because it's a forty-mile journey to go cash the ticket. So I'll probably do it closer to where I'm staying. Um, I think the game is a pick'em game. Neither result would surprise, or neither winner would surprise me. If San Francisco hasn't played its best game yet. They barely beat the, the Green Bay. They barely beat Detroit. Yeah. Um, you, let's say you knock out the champs. I don't know how Kansas City is my favorite, to be honest. Like, yeah, I don't need Holmes. You got a chance. San Francisco is really good, and they got a crazy amount of talent. So I think, team, like I said, one team wins. I won't be surprised either. I think the play, the play is to bet some exotics. Take a guess on who's going to have so many yards. How many times Taylor Swift will be shown in the telecast? Is that, is, can you actually bet that? I, that I, I have trouble with some of those bets where somebody can control it. Like for the anthem, say, somebody could know in rehearsal, oh, that's about a 245 anthem or that's a two-minute net, whatever it is, right? I don't like it when there there could be any foul play, so... Plus, somebody's going to know Usher's. Somebody's going to know Usher's set list, right? Yeah, I'd say stay away from those. Bet the players, or don't bet at all. Um, just send the money you were going to bet to run freely. There you go. I Let's make one more plug. Lose fifteen hundred dollars at a crap stable on one roll. Take that fifteen hundred. Go to our website and come and meet Joe Montana. One more. Uh, one more plug for runfreely.org before you head out. So give them a plug. Plug is not for your car. R U N F R E E L Y. Run freely. R U N F R E E L Y. But he is also selling his car. If you go to that page, you'll read our whole story, how it happened, how it got hurt, why we did it. You'll see our success stories. You'll see the Mike Penix project. He helped us out similarly. And then you'll see the advertisement for Joe Montana. All right. Kenny Main, Will, you ready to help out here? You can get your seat back in a second. No, he's got another thing he's got to do. Kenny Main joining us here on Radio Row. Yes, you can keep it because all of our guests received this lovely item. And, again, we want to thank them so much. And who are they again, Kenny? I don't know. Those guys right there. Here's five bucks. Come on. Wait. Cruises and events. What am I selling? Am I selling the device? You're selling these the, the cruises that are going to start in Houston. In fact, we're going to have a commercial. like Johnny Appleseed of these. Stick around and watch the commercial and you'll learn, especially for my bookie. All right, we got some music coming up to play you. Uh, you're not listening to your job. Here we go. Well, get over here, my brother. All right, let me take you out to break. Some more music. Oh, hey. But I took a stroll and the Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events wants you to come party with us in 2024. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th, because we're calling all Star Wars fans with a costume contest and an awesome Star Wars prize. Then on Saturday, August 10th, it's a Hollywood night of dreams with music, games, contests, and surprises. Both parties will be at the beautiful South Shore Harbor Resort with amazing food, fun activities, live entertainment, and a cash bar, plus some additional surprises. Saturday, May 4th, and Saturday, August 10th. Come party with us. S-Y-C-E. More than a yacht, it's serendipity. Hi everybody, Dave Stevens here for the Geary Stein and Stevens Show from Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Rays. And you know what? Not everybody can be a Major League Baseball player, but you can look like a million dollars. What's the best way to do that? Well, go to FreshCleanThreads.com. Don't believe me? 
That's right, you can look professional, feel good, and not spend a lot of money by wearing fresh clean threads. They have amazing shirts. They've got Henleys and polos, long sleeves, and even bomber jackets. And if you like them, you can save some money by typing in the show code GSS Show from the Geary Stein and Stevens Show to save 20% off. So if you can't be a major leaguer and you want to dress like one, well, go to freshcleanthreads.com. That's freshcleanthreads.com. Tell them Dave sent you. Use that code GSS Show. They can strike any time or anywhere. You can have one while giving a speech at your best friend's wedding or in the middle of your uncle's funeral. It's called a wingasm, and it occurs when you bet and win with my bookie. And this football season, enjoy more wingasms than ever with new features like early cash out. So you can pull out and enjoy an early wingasm, then bet those funds immediately. Tired of waiting all day for your money? We've increased the speed of bet settlement. And with enhanced game lines and live betting and streaming, you can bet right up until kickoff, then place more bets during the game. Oh, and what would a new season be without our $100,000 Survivor Contest? And a super contest with a cash pot of $250,000. Have more wingasms more often with my bookie. <laughs> All right, we're back on a break here. Uh, hey, Will, what did you think of uh, Mr. Kenny Mays? It was impressive to see a legend in action. I think I appreciate everything that he's done for my viewing entertainment and sports at ESPN. I appreciate everything that he's done at ESPN. And all, all right, buddy. I'm up. Oh. You got to go. Holy cow! It's, it's, wow, we've got a Disney star here. Oh, my gosh. Who have I got here next to me? I, uh, my name is Ryan Ochoa, and uh, yes, I would, you already said, uh, I would say former Disney star. Well, yes. Many moons ago. And you got a, another project yeah, coming. You know, we got yeah. Selena and the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> and we, now we are in, uh, I say we, because I'm in a music group with my brothers now. And uh, But I'm also a filmmaker, writer, producer, director. That's, uh, that's the passion right now. I just wrote uh, my next film, actually. It's coming out later, uh, actually soon, this year. I'm excited. It's called Second Chances. And, uh, yeah, you know, having fun, doing what we love. That's kind of weird because I was on a Netflix movie called Santa Second Chances that just came out last year. So, uh, ah. yeah, it's kind of ironic that we got that going on here. It's but pretty uh, cool looking at him. Yeah, yeah, see, you look good. And yes. how old are you? Are you allowed to say? I, I know it. I'm over 21. Yeah, so see? That 21. you don't want to give it away so you can still play those roles, exactly. like, Even right? I got the beard. Yeah, yeah, beard, yeah. It's got to go. And uh, you have a friend here? You want to bring her on to say hi for a second? Yes. Where is she? Oh, Dude. she's walking away. You want to come on? Come here no, for a second. Say no. Just say hi. No, just say hi. She's got. I know she's a great singer. I'm not going to put her on the spot to sing, but introduce her. No, she can introduce herself. Here, you take the seat. Hello, my name is Katrina Stewart. And how should we know you coming up? Uh, let me do it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, come on, take over. No, 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 you got this. Be a producer. Go for it. No, you got this. You want me to hold it? I know her from TikTok. Yeah. And I've heard you. Have, you have a lot of followers, right? Um, a little bit, yeah. Yeah? I mean, how can people how can people see you and find you? Uh, you can just search Katrina Stewart S T U A R T, not E W. Okay. <laughs> not E W. Like, like Patrick Stewart, right? That's well. That's not not. not Rod her Stewart. Way. I don't not know. Her way see, either. so you're, it's your way or no way. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. what's your inspiration so young to put out music? And Ryan, what about your music influence? Uh, it actually kind of just uh, f just happened, really. Um, my brothers and I, we always wanted to do something together. And uh, we ended up writing a TV show. But at the time of writing the show, it still felt very like far away to happen. Music was something that we could do right then. And just... I don't know how, how, but we all just had this. We all love the same style and genre of music, and uh, we took a shot at it, and we've been doing it ever since now. And um, I mean, we've kind of watched you grow up on TV. So, are are you finding it hard that people want to take you seriously for older roles? Then, oh, definitely. I've done so many like interviews 
you know, over the past couple of years about this topic? I would say yes, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it's about you know transforming yourself and and uh, just growing up and and really finding roles that can challenge me as an actor and really you know make people not think of the Disney kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like a big part of it is me. Yeah. Me, and that's why my next film, I actually wrote one of those roles for myself that I feel. Um, I can, uh, you know, I, I can show people a different side of, you know, uh, my my career. And do you have any good roles for a good-looking guy from Duluth, Minnesota? Maybe a legless <laughs> old man in a wheelchair? Yeah. Some demographics? Hey, I got a I got some credits. There you Troy has got chops, man. The guy has some hidden talent that people don't know about. So he's he's an up-and-coming star too. But do you worry about that again? We look at the successes of a Leonardo DiCaprio, and then we see all the tragic stories of some of the other younger actors that you know were so big, and then you know kind of just had the tragedy of having a, a lifestyle thrown at them that uh, they weren't expecting. Yeah, and I uh, I also feel like, well, I mean, to answer your question, yes, like, you know, it's it's very unfortunate to hear those stories. But for me, and, and mainly my brothers, we're really, really close. And the reason I, I bring that up is I feel a big part of it is your your upbringing and, and the people that you surround yourself with on the daily and, and the things that you do, you know, outside of just the work itself. And, uh, for me, it's, it's spending time with my family, my little sister, um, and, uh, you know, good friends like this that have, you know, positive work ethics and, and, uh, are motivated, you know, and, and I feel like even my friend right here, he's sitting here, he's, He's filming, you know, everything that I do. I'm Come on over here. Jump Come in here and say hi. Come and say hi, Big B. This is my best friend. He flew in from San Francisco just to be I'll here. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't fly in from San Francisco to be with you. He wants to see the 49ers win the Super Bowl, yeah. right? Do it for the Bay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Now, you guys are so musical. Have you thought about recording or doing anything together? Or, oh, you know? that is a great idea. There we go. I want 10% of that, right? We should do a Sunday. We've known each other for many years, uh, too. So um, it's, uh, I've, I've always supported her and, and, and everything that she's done. And my sister is just, like, her little, like, biggest fan. She loves her music. So it's really cool to see, you know. And especially for her, seeing that she's inspiring, you know, you know, a lot of people, like, especially young girls like my sister, you know. And speaking of young girls and not in a bad way, uh, when you're around him and he's noticed, is it they just become, ah! I mean, is it, do you get a lot of crazy reactions? It's the same for me, though, with her. I have to admit. <laughs> I have to admit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he gets, his, he gets lots of reactions. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny. I didn't watch, I didn't watch your shows, so it's interesting to me. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you slide into your DMs, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no I was gonna say something, but it's it's really bad. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Nobody's watching anyway, so it's all good. But uh, the, a look ahead. Are, are you guys looking as far as your brothers to try to, you know, kind of launch? You know, no, I don't want to say Jonas Brothers because you are who you are, but yeah. a, a career, the successes, BGs, those kind of things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the goal, right? I yeah. Mean, you don't wake up every day and do music and, and put in hours and hours of work for nothing. Yeah. You have a, I feel a big thing is, is um, growing and, and, and just like, like I said, when she got here, like stepping stones and, and uh, it's all brick by brick. Like we say, seeing one, like for, we released a music video at the end of 2023. We are in 2024 right now. Yeah. yeah. So the end of 2023, we released a new music video, got great reactions, but now it's like, okay, what's next? what's next now, you know? And so we're working on a, another single that we're about to release and promoting it on TikTok. And I think it's just ultimately, you know, just continue to build and continue to put out good work. And I think if you do that, the results that you are looking for will come. All right. Well, Troy, you got anything from the Disney files or anything with your kids? The Disney archives. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to take you out with some of the musical tunes of uh, Patrick and Tony. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank we appreciate you. you. And, uh, you know, we will see you tomorrow. You're going to join us. So yeah. we're very excited to have you on Radio Road tomorrow. So we'll see you both. 
Thanks again for stopping by our 100th episode. Patrick, take us out. Thank you. Born in Madison County, Robert and Mabel. Born in Madison County. Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events wants you to come party with us in 2024. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th, because we're calling all Star Wars fans with a costume contest and an awesome Star Wars prize. Then on Saturday, August 10th, it's a Hollywood night of dreams with music, games, contests, and surprises. Both parties will be at the beautiful South Shore Harbor Resort with amazing food, fun activities, live entertainment, and a cash bar, plus some additional surprises. Saturday, May 4th, and Saturday, August 10th. Come party with us. S-Y-C-E. More than a yacht, it's serendipity. Hi everybody, Dave Stevens here for the Geary Stein and Stevens Show from Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Rays. And you know what? Not everybody can be a Major League Baseball player, but you can look like a million dollars. What's the best way to do that? Well, go to FreshCleanThreads.com. Don't believe me? That's right, you can look professional, feel good, and not spend a lot of money by wearing Fresh Clean Threads. They have amazing shirts. They've got Henleys and polos, long sleeves, and even bomber jackets. And if you like them, you can save some money by typing in the show code GSS Show from the Geary Stein and Steven Show to save 20% off. So if you can't be a major leaguer and you want to dress like one, well, go to FreshCleanThreads.com. That's FreshCleanThreads.com. Tell them Dave sent you. Use that code GSS Show. They can strike any time or anywhere. You can have one while giving a speech at your best friend's wedding or in the middle of your uncle's funeral. It's called a wingasm, and it occurs when you bet and win with my bookie. And this football season, enjoy more wingasms than ever with new features like early cash out. So you can pull out and enjoy an early wingasm, then bet those funds immediately. Tired of waiting all day for your money? We've increased the speed of bet settlement. And with enhanced game lines and live betting and streaming, you can bet right up until kickoff, then place more bets during the game. Oh, and what would a new season be without our $100,000 Survivor Contest? And a super contest with a cash pot of $250,000. Have more wingasms, more often, with my bookie. Uh, what's your favorite Disney character now that we uh, had a Disney guy out? I would have to go Simba from The Lion King. Maybe he might be the boss at the same time. Sometimes it's going to have to be like a dick. He wants to keep speaking me out all the time. <laughs> what? That would be Scar. Scar's the dick. Well, <laughs> 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 
Wow. Wow. You never watched us on the show, and now you're not on the show anymore. So uh, we got somebody else that's going to come in and take your seat, Will. All right, all right. <laughs> Troy, introduce this wonderful man. Oh, man, this guy, I mean, it's, it's a long list, but uh, I'll try to be quick. Uh, Brett Raymer, Taint, I mean, it's a great restaurant. I mean, if you're into Las Vegas, if anybody coming, come down to Stallone's. He's got two locations. They're both beautiful. Autograph pictures on the wall you can buy. I mean, if you're a sports fan, you're just going to be in There's heaven. a lot of great stuff in here. I had a great athlete, this guy. Uh, people don't realize it. You know, they uh, just yeah. think, they the just think days, the he yeah, just grows guppies and throws them in a pond or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I wish I never got hurt. It would have been a different career for sure. But, well, uh, thanks for having me on the show, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, Super Bowl week being here at the restaurant. Uh, means a lot to me, so thanks for coming on down. Oh, you know, once a friend of the show, always a friend of the show. And, and again, when we uh, talked about the new uh, newness of this place, I mean, to come here and see it. And then the lines last night, we were in line to get good food, but there are lines here. Oh, yeah, this place is definitely good. You know, uh, it's a new concept. I kind of call it fast fresh, where you can basically have like a gourmet meal, like under 10 minutes. And we try to pump the food out. But uh, I love the location. It's got a lot of great vibe. It's right in the sports book. Uh, and Sunday's going to be rocking here. I mean, it's going to be, you know, probably 5,000 people here, and we're going to be serving crazy amount of pizza. So what has life been like after the show for you? You know, it's been it's been a different ride. It's been a different ride, one that I'm kind of enjoying. It's not as much work. People don't realize when you have a TV show. I mean, you guys know you're in production. It's every day, you know, and you're doing something, whether it's planning, whether it's filming, whether it's, you know, editing. And then you have, I had 65 employees, right? So I had to run a business with, you know, on top of having a television show and then your family and it just got over overwhelming. So the restaurants allow me to do whatever I want, right? I set them up, they run by themselves. I got people that run them. I stop in, I do my thing, but it enables me to do a bunch of other things, uh, which I really like to do. So, you know, I got a couple other businesses. I'm pitching a new show right now. So we just got a lot going on. All right, let's talk about that show. Uh you, know, you were talking to us earlier. Kind of give us, uh, the viewers here, a sneak peek. As much as you can. So you know, Without giving too much away. I can't give you too much, right? Because I don't want anybody to steal the concept. Yeah, we don't want Put that. It this way. It's, it's, it's a competition reality show, and it's completely different. It's in the aquarium genre, but it's completely different than what I did before. Uh, but it's something that has a lot of excitement, a lot of education, a lot of fun. And I think it's going to be a winner for sure. Okay, we know a lot of producers, a lot of uh, TV people, movie people. If you're listening, give Red a call. Absolutely. Uh, you should have talked to Kenny Mayne, man. You guys could have worked together on some stuff. You can do his movie. You can do your movie. Yeah, yeah, you never know. But bro, I got to know, how come the sea monkeys that we see in the magazines don't look like the sea monkeys that we get when we're, we have them at home? I'll be honest, I don't deal with sea monkeys. I have no idea. I think that was like a, a classic Brian trick. Shrimp Brian or something. Shrimp, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But... Uh, they have these little brine shrimp kits uh, that, are, that are pretty cool, but uh, a lot of good things that people take at home that are good are they have uh, uh, seahorses now where they're tank raised, so you can get a much bigger version of a, of a seahorse. You know, now they're jumbos. Oh. Now they got them jumbos. Mm, what do those taste on a skewer maybe, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know about <laughs> that, but, but for sure. Somebody's probably tried it. So... When you look back on it, I'm sure people still, they got to come to you and go, hey, man, just do a special project. For, just do this one thing for me. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I do projects here and there. You know, I'll, I'll take on a job. You know, if somebody wants something, I still have all my connections. I don't build the aquarium now. So now I do a lot of uh, consulting where if you wanted an aquarium, I know where to get it. I know what to use, what to do, the right people. So you'll get everything to the top of the line, and then I kind of consult you on, on which direction to go. So it works out a little bit different now i don't have all that overhead i just still do what i want when i want and i get to pick what projects i want when i want to do them so and if we had cribs and we went into your house what would your tank look like so i used to have a 700 gallon i sold my house it was a nice uh, big aquarium we did it on the show and then i had a uh, six thousand gallon pond uh with a ton of koi fish right now i don't have any i just have one aquarium inside of my uh, other restaurant uh we have a nice little cichlid aquarium 150 gallon uh just Obviously, I wanted to get something. People are going to see me. Going, Where's the aquarium? You know, so I had to get at least one. So that sounds great. You got something? My oh, we got get Troy back up here. Go for it, Troy. Uh, yeah. So I, I want to ask you about uh, this other thing you got here. You got a lot of sports memorabilia. 
Um, just kind of talk about that. If somebody wants to come down and say buy it, uh, you know, you got it at your other location too? Or? Yeah, so the other location is not a memorabilia store, only the one inside the okay. casino. Uh, and you can literally buy everything off the walls. Uh, and we also custom make pieces. So if you have anybody that you uh, don't see here and you want to get somebody, just let us know. Some of them are signed officially with marker signatures, and some of them are plate stamp signatures. So we have price ranges, you know, everything pretty much from 75 bucks all the way on up to a few thousand dollars. And literally, we change them out, you know, every couple of weeks. We bring in uh, new stuff. I got a whole new shipment coming in right before the, the Super Bowl. Awesome. Obviously, we'll have some Chiefs and some Niners, a bunch of different things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, look, the walls are free, right? So why not use them? Oh, yeah. And Absolutely. we're in the sports book, right? This so what better place to sell place. sports memorabilia inside a sports book? Absolutely. And hopefully they've spent some of those winnings over here, right? Yeah, yeah. My guys, you know, they like you're gonna get some days they have good days and some days they get bad days. You got a guy that hits a big winner and he comes and buys, you know, a nice two thousand dollar jersey off the wall. So it works out well. You know, it really does. So you're gonna walk around and put any money on this game? Do you have any interest? Yeah, I do for sure. You know, like I gamble every day, so I'm not proud of it, but I love I do it for fun. And where? Oh, what a great place to have a restaurant! I don't, I don't do it. I don't do it to make money. I do it for the enjoyment of the game. A game is much more exciting if I got a twenty or thirty or fifty or a hundred on it, right? So I, I gamble what I can afford, and uh, I, I have a good time with it. But yeah, I like the Chiefs. Uh, I think Mahomes, you know, uh, is going for the Brady mark. Uh, you know, I mean, the guy's a born winner, proven winner. Uh, he's doing it on a different path this year as the underdog. And uh, I think he's doing a great job. You know, like I said, you know, back in the day, we were just talking about this the other day, you know, growing up and, you know, we're probably close to the same age, right? So growing up. 32? Be, yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> so growing up, you know, it used to be, I'm going to drop back. Oh, it's Terry Bradshaw for the past. And then it was. I'm going to drop back, and then it's going to be Joe Montana. And then you were Steve Young for a couple of years. And then you were, you know, you were uh, LA, Troy Aikman yeah. for a few years. And then you were Tom Brady for a bunch of years. And now you're Patrick Mahomes, right? So it's just passing the torch. And I kind of feel like you have, over the years, you have these great players. And like all the ones that I just named that are special. And they're special because they've won, you know, four Super Bowls, three Super Bowls, you know, seven Super Bowls. I think Mahomes is going in that direction. He's the next great, and I think he's going to prove it to people in this game. I think the Niners have a gr great shot, don't get me wrong, because they have a really good cast, right? They got, you know, uh, McCaffrey. They got the receivers. They got, you know, Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, but he becomes relevant when you have all of these players around you. Patrick Mahomes, look, he's done it without uh, without uh, the receiver from Miami. I'm losing his name. Yeah, he's doing it. He did it two years without Hill. He seems to me that no matter who's in there, just like Brady-esque, right? doesn't matter. The guy's a winner, right? doesn't matter whether he has, you know, Tony, whether he's got Hill, whether he's got, you know, uh, the other guy, Rice, whether it doesn't matter. The guy just, he figures out a way to win. And one of the things I was saying the other day, if you look at a lot of the teams that won, one thing that they all have in common, most of them, they all had a great tight end. A great tight end. You look at all the championships, As right? good as mine? As, maybe a little better, okay. but... Just, you know, close. But the bottom line is they all have great tight ends. And what that did for Brady when he had Gronkowski for all those years, it freed up the outside receivers, right? And it made those guys come alive. So I, I feel the same thing that you have here with Kelsey, right? You have that. They're going to look for that double team. He's the man. They're gonna, everybody's going to be looking for him. But yet the outside is where I think it's going to shine in this game. So, like I said, all, over the years, you know, you had Bavaro. And then you had, you know, the guy uh, from the Cowboys. And then, you know, each one of these teams – the Novacek, each one of these teams always had great tight ends and great quarterbacks. And I see that happening, you know, here with, with those guys. So, And I think the best thing about this week is that Taylor Swift had a concert in Japan. So she didn't dominate everything else. She did dominate most of uh, Travis's questions last night. And uh, I think Mahomes had to answer a few. But do you... I, I liked it because it opened up so many other non-fans to football. And... It, as you're a, much more of a purist, wh what are your thoughts? You know, look, I mean, I watch football for my love of football. I can tell less what anybody thinks about it. You know, I don't care. But do care. five cutaways make you mad? It doesn't. Even, I don't even really bother me. I don't really like. It doesn't. I don't really pay attention. Usually during the the, the times, like it's it's like with football with me, it's like I'll sit there and watch it, and then like midway through, I'll be doing something else, or I'll be doing this. Especially if, they, if the game's really close, I'll, you know, fourth quarter, I'm glued on it. But for the most part, you know, I, it doesn't really make a difference to me. It's either or. You know, look, the more people that watch any sport, I guess, the better it is for sports. 
sports is, seems to be the thing that we all can come together with. You know, I think over the years, how many tragedies there have been in sports and heal people. So I, I just think sports are great, you know. Um, keep the politics out of sports. Keep the kneeling out of sports. Keep all the things that shouldn't be part of sports, part of sports. And leave it for what it is, which is sports, you know. Um, but I don't think Taylor Swift has an effect. Bringing more people in is just only a benefit to what we have going on. And I agree with you. I will never kneel. <laughs> there you go. Love it. Brett, thanks for joining us, buddy. Man, thanks, thanks for, thanks for hosting man. us. Yeah, uh, again, I love to watch the reruns. I hope you're getting those 13 cent residual checks. Yeah, I wish, but we got a new uh, we got a new show coming, so just keep your eyes <laughs> out there. Right? We, we hope. hope. We hope. I, I know we do. I know we do. We, we do, do it too. Here. And man, uh, we but, can't uh, wait to see it. Maybe we could be on it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And uh, once again, I look forward to the next show. All right. That's pretty cool. This is a, and oh, let me ask you real quick, real, real, before we let you go. The menu. How much of an impact do you have on the menu? Do you tweak it? Are you throwing a little bit of Brett stuff in? That yeah, so, you know? so, so, so people don't know this. I'm, I'm a chef at heart, uh, and I love to cook. Um, everything that goes into that menu is, is run by me first. I taste every item. Uh, I change the menu. I add things on. I've created three or four items on the menu. The drunken chicken is my creation. The lasagna sandwich is my oh, creation. Oh, lasagna sandwich. We had that the other day. And that that's was, that's um, my creation. Best calzone I've ever had. The pasta yeah. special, you know, uh, is, is a family recipe. But uh, all the stuff that we do here is fast and fresh. We make everything here. There's nothing that we buy frozen. No frozen triangle. No mozzarella stick. No frozen. There's no. We make everything. So And it shows. It was amazing. And, again, the lines here, you got to get here at a certain time to make sure it's good. And uh, uh, just – Best of luck to you. Why are there no cooking shows or any of these things popping in and uh, doing stuff with you? You know, I don't know, but you know, you, I, it's just a different. Snoop Dogg you know, can do it with Martha Stewart. Why can't yeah, you? You never know. You never know. But we'll Martha, get Martha you know, here. TV, believe it or not, TV took a toll on me, man. I was I was bitter when I left. You know, leaving. At, I needed a I needed this hiatus to come back to television, right? To get everything out of my system. I was known for one thing. And now I'm going to do it again, I really believe, in the same field, but with a totally different concept without my family. I'm going to do it myself this time, right? Yeah. It's more important to me now. So now I'm not burnt out anymore. I'm not mad at the world like I was. I'm not mad at my family. I'm ready to just dive right back in. But if you're going back in it, social media is even worse than it was in, in your heyday. I'd say worse because they're going to, they could attack you and That's say okay. mean I, things. Attacking's okay. You can attack me all you want. That's just like Madonna said, all press is good press, right? So the bottom line is, is I, we can show, if I had social media back then, the show would have been 10 times as bigger than it was. Now we're going to get it, use the social media and do it the right way and really blow up the next the next spot. All right. Well, we want our pitchers of beer because we want to get tanked pretty you got soon. It. So, all right. Thank you, Brad. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see, Troy. Uh, who we got coming up next? Uh, i figure out who we got left here. Who's in the building? No. But Mark is here. We can get Mark to come and talk. Over. Come over here, Mark. Come over for a second before we go to break. We're going to go to break in just a second, but uh, Patrick will play us out in a second. But one of our friends who's been helping us and uh, kind of learning the ropes here uh, survived a Boston bombing, and now he is surviving uh, Radio Row and all of the things that are going on. And uh, so I uh, wanted to bring in my buddy. And uh, before we go to break, I just wanted to uh, have you tell us a little bit about you. So look into the camera. Give the world what you, who you are, and what you're doing, and why you're here, bud. Hey, Dave, thank you, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Um, you know, serious, Dave. You really took you know, looking out for me today. Just no, to you've been, we've been having fun, but yeah. talk about the Mark Network and what you're doing, my brother. So, again, my life changed just over ten years ago, almost eleven years ago, the Boston Marathon. Created the Mark Network, M A R C, Mobility Awareness Resource Community. They have a centralized location for everything mobility impaired. So, the Mark Network 2.0, M A R C Network 2.0, is a free app. You can download it in Apple and Google and uh, create a profile. Make sure you put up a profile picture, right? And just engage with the community, engage with each other, like, share pictures. It's like a social media, but it's a community and an opportunity to engage. You've got a physical therapist, occupational therapist. Um, prostitutes. Yeah, prostitutes. Oh, prostitutes. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Uh, we're in Vegas, so uh, you know. But tell me a little bit about your experience because uh, you see, as we talked about from the bombing, he's lost uh, the legs. And for me, dealing with a wheelchair at Radio Row and all the things around, I appreciate the league having us here, but some of the things are not built for us. And I just wondered if you could talk a little bit about some of the challenges you've noticed uh, in your short time here. Like yourself or me, that understand the challenges that face across a very diverse group of people with disabilities, such as wheelchairs, from prosthetics, you know, Parkinson's, and different disabilities that affect different types of mobility. There are different needs out there that they should speak to us to learn what we need. And that's what the community is about that I'm creating, so we can get those numbers up. You know, as a group, we can be louder, we can make more noise, we can make requests. All right, what's been the coolest thing you've seen so far? Opening night last night? See, all it takes is a terrorist attack to have great opportunities in life, right? All right, Mark's going to be with us all week. Mark, where can they watch you, follow you, see you, and uh, help you? Uh, social media, you know, the Mark Network, M-A-R-C Network, um, and also download the app, uh, Mark Network 2.0. Apple and Google free, and there's also the website, marknetwork.world. All right, and of course, all of our guests on the Gary Stein and Stephen Show receive this wonderful, oh, this wonderful phone charger courtesy of Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events. And again, it, it's funny, all of our guests have been like, that's a really good gift, you know? So there you go, my friend. And uh, we are going to bring back my buddy, Patrick Mahoney. Another mother's broken hearts are being mistaken. The violence causes silence. Who are we mistaken? But you see, it's not me, it's not my family. In your hand, in your hand, they're still fighting with their tanks and their bombs, their guns, their bombs. In your hand, in your hand, they're still fighting. What's in your head? In your head, something, something, something. Hey, hey, what's in your head? In your head.
Serendipity Yacht Cruises and Events wants you to come party with us in 2024. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th, because we're calling all Star Wars fans with a costume contest and an awesome Star Wars prize. Then on Saturday, August 10th, it's a Hollywood night of dreams with music, games, contests, and surprises. Both parties will be at the beautiful South Shore Harbor Resort with amazing food, fun activities, live entertainment, and a cash bar, plus some additional surprises. Saturday, May 4th, and Saturday, August 10th. Come party with us. S-Y-C-E. More than a yacht, it's serendipity. Hi everybody, Dave Stevens here for the Geary Stein and Stevens Show from Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Rays. And you know what? Not everybody can be a Major League Baseball player, but you can look like a million dollars. What's the best way to do that? Well, go to FreshCleanThreads.com. Don't believe me? That's right. You can look professional, feel good, and not spend a lot of money by wearing Fresh Clean Threads. They have amazing shirts. They've got Henleys and polos, long sleeves and even bomber jackets. And if you like them, you can save some money by typing in the show code GSS Show from the Geary Stein and Steven Show to save 20% off. So if you can't be a major leaguer and you want to dress like one, well, go to freshcleanthreads.com. That's freshcleanthreads.com. Tell them Dave sent you. Use that code GSS Show. They can strike any time or anywhere. You can have one while giving a speech at your best friend's wedding or in the middle of your uncle's funeral. It's called a wingasm, and it occurs when you bet and win with my bookie. And this football season, enjoy more wingasms than ever with new features like early cash out. So you can pull out and enjoy an early wingasm, then bet those funds immediately. Tired of waiting all day for your money? We've increased the speed of bet settlement. And with enhanced game lines and live betting and streaming, you can bet right up until kickoff, then place more bets during the game. Oh, and what would a new season be without our $100,000 Survivor Contest? And a Super Contest with a cash pot of $250,000. Have more wingasms more often with my bookie. All right, welcome back to the Geary Stein and Steven Show. And uh, we've got an oldie but a goodie here with us uh, as we kind of wrap things up. So I'd like to everybody to introduce themselves to our audience since we have such a big, diverse audience tonight. So, I mean, your story is amazing, the places you've been, the two situations you've been. So my friend Mike Dempsey. Okay, thanks, guys. Um, here I represent the NFL Alumni Carolinas chapter, player engagement coordinator, but I also was, besides doing – Football, baseball, boxing, as these guys know, I also was the survivor of 9-11, uh, World Trade Center, and I was also at the Las Vegas Mandalay Bay shooting where we're uh, not too far from there right now. So I think the lesson learned that Dave knows is don't travel with Mike Dempsey, um, and, uh, but that's, uh, that's a story that I've kind of lived to uh, tell many times. So uh, but I'm glad to be around. What do you want, school. Will? Hold on a second. Yeah, what? Are you kicking me out? <laughs> Will's kicking me uh -oh. out. Will's kicking me out. <laughs> All right, Will. All right, Will's going to carry on. We're going to win. This is trouble. Wow. All right. Somebody, somebody, somebody got fired. I hope Dave got a severance. I hope Dave got a severance package out of this. I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. Maybe we'll do a month. I don't know. That's, that's a little pushing it. Uh, we got Will Stein joining us again. Uh, Will, I mean. Hey. I got tired of getting kicked out all the time, so it's like now it's my turn. All right, damn it. let's so, kick Dave out. Now okay. he can't be a so dick to me let's anymore. Let's talk about something that you just love, and that's golf. Yeah. Hey. Mike, uh, we got a big golf tournament coming up. What do you think Ooh, about that? The Jim McMahon, great, nine great golf outing, second year in a row. It's going to be a lot of fun on Friday at Angel Park, uh, supporting, like I said, great nine great coach did this charity. We got Jimmy Mack, 85, uh, Super Bowl Shuffle coming at you. We got a lot of guys. I mean, I think, you know, uh, you're playing with me. You got stuck yeah. with Dempsey as oh, your geez. celebrity, which is probably not who you picked. You wanted uh, Greg Maddox. You wanted Steve Young, Goose Gossage, Johnny Damon. You got stuck with Mike Dempsey. So. Yeah, Will the Thrill is going to be golfing to this uh, with me and uh, Mr. Dempsey. Yep. Will, are you excited about uh, going out to Angel Park Friday morning and uh, teeing it up with uh, – you know, like Steve Young and Johnny Damon? 
Hey, at this point, I'm just ready to be on a golf course, even though I have to face this knucklehead. But hey, what can I yeah, do? I don't you know might do another going. happy Gilmore and hit at 330 you know. yeah, yards. Yeah. We're going to have Shooter McGavin. He's going to teach me how to uh, do the uh, shooter shot, you know? Yes. You know? And uh, I would even want to take the do it right. That's all yeah. you need. And yeah, Jim Blair, it's uh, my guy who does that every golf outing. He's, uh, he's a pretty good golfer. Uh, himself. Family guy, golfers. family guy fans. We got uh, Joe. Uh, Patrick Warburton is going to be there, yep. so maybe uh, you know we get him to say well, something. Well, if this we have wins, it's because somebody cheated. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That's yeah, real, I mean, real, I, I make sure awesome. that our scorecard has a pencil with the racer. Yeah. So, uh, exactly. You know, you know what? I'm playing for Chubbs, God damn it. There you go. <laughs> I love Carl Weathers, by the uh, way. Oh, yeah. Carl Weathers. Um, you know, we were, we were planning to talk to him this yeah. weekend. You know, Carl's going to be out here actually this weekend uh, promoting. He's doing FanDuel. He's doing something with Rock. Yeah. Uh, with Rock and uh, unfortunately, like I said, uh, great, great actor, great person, by the way. So, love Carl. All right. Well, for that, we're going to head back to commercial, but uh, we're going to we're gonna be at that golf course on Friday. So, we'll, have, we'll be live out there. Yeah, you know, Dempsey knows everybody. So, we'll just talk to him. And, uh, he even knows more people than I do. Yeah, you know, it's. You should, I told him he needs a coffee book. Where's where in the world is Mike Dempsey? Yep. All right, we're gonna head to commercial. I will come back, uh, kind of wrap things up here from uh, Santa Fe Station Casino at uh, Stallone's Eatery. <laughs> uh, I just want to make sure he gets the severance package because uh, you know, I never get right on the air like that. But, uh, just Take care of them. They can strike any time or anywhere. You can have one while giving a speech at your best friend's wedding or in the middle of your uncle's funeral. It's called a wingasm, and it occurs when you Good bet job. and win with my bookie. And this football cool. like season, that. enjoy right, more wingasms than ever with new right. features like we'll early cash over. out. So you can pull out and enjoy an early wingasm, then bet those funds immediately. Tired of waiting all day for your money? We've increased the speed of bed settlement. And with enhanced game lines and live betting and streaming, you yeah. can bet right up until kickoff, then place more bets during the game. Oh, and what would a new season be without our $100,000 Survivor Contest? And a super contest with a cash pot of $250,000. Have more wingasms, more often, with my bookie. Whoa. She's totally checking me out. She's probably looking at my arms. Or maybe just the shirt. I mean, the shirt is my secret weapon. It shows off my arms and doesn't cling to my stomach. Who could blame her? Hey, I like your shirts. You want to get out of here? Unleash your confidence with fresh, clean threads. We are so excited to have uh, not only celebrities but the people that uh, help us, and that would be the sponsors that we have. One of our newest sponsors with us uh, as far as uh, the Gary Stanton TV show. And uh, introduce yourself and tell us about your company because I have some questions on that.
stuff. I mean, my kids, they put these temp tattoos all over them. They're on there for weeks, you know. This, you can just go sit down on the machine. It's a nice one. They can look like Post Malone without actually having to look like Post Malone. Uh, speaking of Post Malone, we're going to have him this week. But, uh, so, yeah, kind of talk about that. I mean, that's that's kind of a big thing, you know. Like, uh, you can get this sit down. It's on there. How long does it stay on there? So the last three to five days without caring for them, seven to ten if you take a little bit of care for them, right? But no one does that on vacation. What we learned is a free touch-up is really a great reason to come back to the same place you originally got it. So we retrieve our customers back to those locations. Uh, we've got a great little program. Like I said, we didn't do it the, the usual way where you go out and you charge a lot of money. Uh, we went as a service, and uh, this is the first entertainment marketing service of its kind. And we really just enjoy what we do. You know what I'm saying? I love families. There's nothing like moms coming over, getting matching tattoos with the kids. And I'll just show some age here, but Pamela Anderson used to be really, you know, back in her day and had the barbed wire. And women would eat that up, right? Come over there with their kids and all getting those barbed wires. And it was just fun, right? Dad's getting the matching pirates with their two and a half year old son. And dad's got full sleeves, right? Like he's tattooed. Uh. But he's gonna get one, and it's uh, so it's it's hard when you sell fun because you're never really selling it. You're just having fun with people, and as long as you can maintain that attitude, it's it's awesome. But where where everything happens is automation, right? Like because staffing is always a big problem when it comes to scalability, and, and that's that's where we went. With do that you problem. go in? It's kind of like a photo booth, and you you swipe a card, and yeah, what does it cost, and how long does it take? Yeah, I mean we we got them as low as three dollars up to twenty five dollars if you customize it. Uh, you say you can get inked up in less than a minute. Wow. Um, everybody downloads the app, gets really creative, does what they want to do, tells them where they want it, and the AI and the robot place them, you know, put them in placement and spray what you just designed. And it's, we're constantly adding, so it's like an unlimited, you know, 10,000 plus. Like everything that we can put into stencil format is, is done on spot. So it's great to, you know. Well, so. that, you want to get your favorite t- team tattoo? We got the 49ers and the Chiefs. I mean, I'm sure that's going to be popular here. Well, wait, I, was, uh, I was trying to anticipate coming out here with them earlier today, but got backed up right with travel plans and things, how that went. I was at a video plan. Um, but, yes. So can I ask you guys a question? Because I heard you ask them earlier. Sure. Who are you picking for the Super Bowl? I'm sure you already said it. But Yeah, I got the Chiefs. I just think, you know, that – you can't, you can't not bet on Mahomes. I mean, he's just, he's just proven. I mean, he, he knows these games, and I think experience matters in these games. And it's funny, the 49ers are favored, but I sort of, I sort of feel like they're the underdogs the way everybody's yeah, everybody, talking uh, about. You I know? mean, last night we were at the opening night, and there was a lot of 49ers fans there, so. But be, there was less media than yeah. Kansas City, so that was that's what really blew me away last yeah, night. So, so. I mean, how soon will we have these everywhere? So, I mean, I'm in Vegas out here making lots of contacts, and we're starting to do our pilot run and see who wants them, and we're getting such great positive feedback. We should try to help you ongoing, Absolutely. yes. Ongoing. Uh, this is a great relationship starting off. Um, yeah, our goal is absolutely to be at the Super Bowl, if not some other things that I probably can't mention until they're inked in. But yeah, oh, all star games, NFL experience. Oh, I, I mean, you know, when you talk about airbrush face painting, you you take a fan and you turn them into a fanatic, and they walk around, and everybody knows where you're at. And every product loves to see their brand out there and increase their exposure, right? And the more you can do it and turn an experience into a fun memory, it's a no brainer. Right, and you automate that experience. But and the only reason I wanted to automate, man, I, I love people, right? This is the worst thing I want to do is do what I don't want to be the guy that brings in Terminator, like back in my day of my, how my brain worked, right? But uh, I knew automation was the final way to go because you can't scale to the concept, right? It's it's just difficult. But yeah, this is going to be a fun ride, and obviously live events, sporting events. Soccer, I mean, name a sport, name a reason. I always say, give me a plug with 500 people and I'll show you a good time. You know, it's, that's the way I Well, Chris, thanks for joining you. Seriously, it's a great product and uh, we look forward to seeing them all over the place. Now, I don't know if I would do it myself, but, uh, you know, maybe after we got tanked here, I, I might. I see you with the Mike Tyson. You know, right yeah, I wonder if I Mike have... would have rather tried out your product <laughs> before he actually did the thing, maybe. That might be some people, you, you know, how does this look on me? Nah, I'm not. I can't be a lawyer like this, right? Questions first, you know. But, uh, well, thanks, Chris, and we appreciate you stopping by. And uh, we've got great sponsors, as I said. We are so excited to have our friends from. 
I tattoo, and of course, in Creative Band, uh, kind of combining and working together, right? Yeah, so we're gonna that's amazing. Later on this week. We're really excited to, to really talk about these things, and of course, uh, you know, all of the people that have been a part of what we do at Radio Row. I've talked about the Disability Channel with their 50 50 raffle that helps to empower and achieve more veterans and to do amazing things in life. And then, Troy, man, Troy, oh, that was a, a earlier, sorry, that was an earlier show. Where are we here with that? There we go. Too many things. That was one of our guests earlier. And Troy hooked us up with uh, the La Frata. I, oh, I, yeah, I the cigar it. people. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're great cigars. You know, I mean, if you like golfing, if you like, if you like a good, I mean, a good cigar, I mean, no and they're fresh from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I mean, they're out I mean, now, so La Fatalanza Cigars.com. I got it that time. La yeah, Tafala. La... See, I give up. Yeah, I'll tell you. I, I'll tell I give you. Up. That's my hard one. I mean, and of course, you if you want to look good, feel good, good live long life, live well, go to patchit.life, help us out. So uh, before we bring Patrick in to play us out, Troy, man, 100 episodes. What yeah, do you think? I, mean, I mean, here's to 100 more, right? Uh, thanks to you. Thanks to Will, wherever Will is. Uh, Will's such a good sport, and we love Will, and uh, he's a big part of our show and everything. And Patrick, uh, have you had fun here today, my friend? Absolutely amazing. Meeting all these guests has been really, really, really great for me to, to see what's going on around the place here this week. And uh, it's been exciting, and I'm excited to uh, to, to uh, perform, to be performing here today and letting people know when uh, you can catch me on patrickmahoneymusic.com, uh, all my gigs and my shows. My next show, big show, is at the Durango, the new Durango Casino, March 16th. I just got my website. You can buy tickets for for the shows and other other particular shows around Henderson and Las Vegas. So all's going on. But thank you, Dave. I've been following Dave for many years before he's famous, before he became famous. He was he didn't even know how to work these things. And now he's now he thinks he can do everything. So uh, he's been doing it all himself, working very hard today. So uh they put on a great show the lads. So uh, they deserve your following and your support. They're doing everything to help everybody they can. And that's what life's about. So well you've got that Texas accent. And well done. I've got this Texan and way down south type of thing going on. So uh, even more. I look American, don't I? But I mean, yeah. I don't sound it. All right. Well, for myself, Troy, say bye. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, great music by Patrick over here. And uh, look forward to uh, the rest of the week we got going on. Play us out, my friend. When I wake up, yeah, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be a night away next to you. And when I go out, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who goes along in here. And when I get drunk, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who gets drunk next to you. And when I have up, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's havering to you. And I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more to be the man who walks a thousand miles, fall down at your door. Love it up, man. Love it up, man. Love it up, man. Love it up, one more time, Dave. We love you all. Thank you, everybody, for all of us, for all of you. Thank you for a hundred episodes. Here's to 100 more. Thank you, and have a great night, everybody. Thank you for watching the Geary, Stad, and Steven show from Super Bowl 58. You can watch all of the episodes at yourhometv.com or download the Your Home TV app on Roku. Follow the boys on all social media and podcast apps.